And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Jeskai control. So we have another donation deck to continue on our donation deck day to day, which we've been doing well with so far. So this time we are going to be playing a uh, good old blue, white, red control known as Jeskai for that color combination. Uh, so one thing that I really like with Jeskai these days is I think Deafening Clarion is in an awesome spot. Uh, there's a lot of small aggro decks, a lot of decks that are making 3-3 uh, three, three creatures, whether it's like Hasted, um, or it's, you know, like the Chain Whirler decks, of course, or like the Hasted uh, Gruel Spellbreakers, or Nyssa making a bunch of lands that are 3-3s. Three Love Deafening Clarion. And of course, the two Teferis are obviously very, very powerful. Both of them are. So having a control deck built around Teferis is, you know, definitely something that a lot of people are doing. I mean, it's just those cards are awesome. But then having Deafening Clarion with it, really like it. Uh, the other, th and so like our, our main win con that we have in our, our deck, well, really our, yeah, basically our win con here is going to be the Kefnets. That's a card that talked about how uh, that card last match, whenever we had the Grixis a match. Uh, sorry, Grixis a mass. That, that's a card that I really like these days also. Kefnets just a really solid card. So this, this will be interesting to see how it plays out with having Kefnet as a finisher in a Teferi control deck. We do have the ability to switch into an Immortal Sun control deck, though, also. So that's our plan against, like, all the other, like, Planeswalker decks that are around, is we actually move away from the Planeswalkers, and we swap out Big Teferi for Immortal Sun, and then we can have, like, Rekindling Phoenix, Kefnet, Immortal Sun kind of thing, and, like, Legion War Boss, of course, and uh, move away from the Planeswalkers. Um, so that's a, that's a really interesting concept. So I think that's that's pretty cool here, uh, from the from the viewer who submitted the deck. I think that's that'll be pretty interesting to see how it plays out. Uh, but yeah, that's that's our deck. Uh, I haven't played Solar Blaze at all. I you know I just haven't played this card at all in any deck. So this will be the one new card for me here is Solar Blaze. Um, but yeah, that's what we got. It's Jess Guy Control. Let's start. Uh, get into the games. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we don't don't have to do the Teferi Tuck win con, you know, between Kefnet and Expansion Explosion, you know, specifically the Explosion. Hopefully we can finish people off. Oh, sorry, red, white, blue. Sorry. I said the colors in the wrong order. I meant red, white, blue for our deck. Speaking of the red, white. Hmm. So are we going to just draw a blue source? Basically, we need to draw blue source or removal spells. It's kind of basically everything in our deck are either blue sources or, like, removal spells. There are obviously, like, some counter spells, and, like, there are, like, some draw steps that are not good. But that one's, that one's just fine. It's a burn spell. <laughs> you drew 13 in a row? Ugh. That's so many, Joy. Um, I want to strike Thorn Lieutenant and give him a 1-1. One, one. It's not really that appealing. Hey, what's up, Nefer? Says, love the chill stream. Keep it up. Thanks, Nefer. Definitely a pretty chill person. Yeah, Thorn Lieutenant pretty good against Solar Blaze here. <laughs> yeah, Solar Blaze is looking pretty silly. Hmm. 
not drawing blue mana. I assume we have a lot of blue mana, don't we? We will write this story together. 17 blue sources. All right. So it says it assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. So that's why during combat it, it showed like 4-4. Four, four, but it's not actually a 4-4. Four, four. So it's not like Solar Blaze would have helped there. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and play Little Teferi and bounce the Brontodon just to gain time. We'll let Little Teferi die to the, the token. I am not going to sit this one. I've done the hero thing before. I just want to gain, you know, I just want to gain some time. That's what that's what this Teferi is. He's a time waster. No, we're still in this game. We did draw the we I don't think we drew the blue too late to save the game. No, I think we can still win this. Whoops. So it's 13 lands in a row. Yeah, that's, that's quite a bit. All right, I don't think I will ever want to put a Solar Blaze in my deck ever again <laughs> after just playing this game. Only time will tell. Oh, this is this card's so gross. Can we just have a Cleansing Nova instead? Settle the wreckage. Life restored. Even wish a lie, probably rather have settle. Alright, so we're gonna just Chemister's Insight draw a couple cards. Or should I bounce the Shalai? Waste some more time. Stand by and watch. I'll protect you. So if I go Chemister's Insight, that's a, good, that's a good card. If I would go Chemister's Insight, then they would, you know, attack me for seven. Well, I guess attack me for or attack me down to six and play another Brontodon, and then it would be like pretty difficult for what I'm doing. All right, never mind. Solar Blaze with expansion. Okay, now I'm now I'm picking it up. All right, now now I see we have expansion to go with the Solar Blaze. That's even. Okay, that's pretty sweet. That didn't go according to plan. So that's pretty sweet. I could just chemistry's inside and copy it though. I won't hide. Hurry! Jay Gomez. Thank you so much, Jay Gomez. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of crazy. It's the, the very first game, the very first match is a deck like built around playing creatures with more toughness than power. I am... Pretty surprised they're not just killing Teferi. Oh. Should I copy that and give the Shalai plus four plus four also? No 
more games. Hold that thought. Whoops, meant to untap the other blue source, but it just kind of, the, the lands moved while I was clicking. Two, four. Okay, one mana, three, three. That's pretty sweet. Skip to the good part. Uh, sure. This is just <laughs> one verse in the poem. Opt works pretty well with Kafnatic Horse. And I guess if I just take this Watley, these things like don't they don't do anything. These creatures don't don't do anything. Alright. What do we want? I, I, I don't want Veto, I don't want Syncopate. I want to be able to just have a bunch of things that block and everything. Just kind of get rid of these chemistry's insights. And so that is a whole lot of instants and sorceries I just took out. Kefnet's not as good. No, I didn't, no, we didn't see any walls. Um, I don't want to cut as Kanta with like as it's something to do now. I want to cut like around this slot, like this, this three mana slot, which I guess it's just going to be Time Raveler. It's either Time Raveler or Absorb. It's one of those. But as you can see here, like I want to cut one of these threes. Um, time Raveler or Absorb, one of these. I'll get rid of a Time Raveler. Yeah, so Solar Blaze doesn't target, so the Hexproof from Shalai doesn't matter. It's The Solar Blaze is like a global effect that it's just dealing damage to all the creatures, so you don't need to target each individual creature. Therefore, the Hexproof doesn't affect the Solar Blaze. Basically, the same hand as last time. Yep. Yep, so target's the keyword. There. In case we don't draw a land here. Have that shock out of our hands. We don't have to go to discard. Hey, what's up, Mountain Wind Cat? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Rejuvenator is good this against fight you the time waster. You don't really want to bounce that don't card. Worry. I got this. 
13th sub of the day. Thanks for that support there, Mountain Wind Cat. What card are we trying to cast with Kefnet's ability? Oh, Opt. Lightning Strike. Maybe Deafening Clarion. You know, Enough. whatever instant sorceries we have. These these are all good targets. It's also just a 4-mana four 4-5 four flyer that's, like, impossible to kill. That's bigger than everything our opponent's doing. Trust me. I have a plan. It's glad to be back. I've been playing your Orzhov Angels deck in paper. Any idea on updates with War of the Spark? So I think I think for sure you'd want Dispark somewhere like in the 75, maybe even maybe a couple main, maybe some sideboard. Heal. I think Dispark would be a good good card for that deck. Um Definitely a couple copies of Elder Spell. In the sideboard. Maybe Oath of Kaya. For the red matchup if you'd like. Humility is painful but necessary. This might be a bad idea. I did the lifelink, right? There's nothing in particular that we need to just like draw right now, so we'll just stick up. Here we go. Yeah, they just played a 3-3 three, three for 7. Not a very good card. They had a lot better cards the first game than this game. Got time. This one should only take one more turn. Unless they have some removal. There you go, that one's pretty cool. Let's try this. Big old dino. Unfortunately, Teferi doesn't approve of dinosaurs. <laughs> the keyword soup dino. But yep, Teferi wins. <clears throat> All right, wanna know. I need to reset arena. I haven't done that the whole stream. I've had arena up for over five hours now. And what's the deal with us getting... <laughs> Both other hands were just red-white lands. This time it's just blue-red lands. Can't just get all three colors. Yeah, now we're in it deck. Midnight Reaper. That card's cool. Cabal Stronghold, Basic Planes. Don't don't do that, opponent. 
Don't Cabal Stronghold Basic Planes. Oh gosh, this is just a colorless land. Uh oh. Um. Hmm. All right, well, this is, I guess I could have been better against Lane and War Leader. This is not ideal. But we can, we can clean up all the, the tokens and everything. Ow. So we're going to take... Gonna take nine here. As we like look at what we get to look at four cards before next turn. Well, I guess we don't. Really wish I didn't use that Ixalan's binding. But I guess if I would have waited to turn on the Ixalan's binding, then those things would have resolved. Perfect. That'll do. I'll take that. I got the mana to cast it. Let's see what's going on. Get to look one card deeper. Sure. Basically casting this now because we could hit land drops. And I'll just kill the skeleton on their turn just to slow him down a little bit. Because, of course, they can do this instant speed, re return it back kind of thing. So, basically, this card is, like, gain one life. <clears throat> That's basically all I'm using that for is just gain one life. But it flips as Kanta also. We have so much card advantage. I don't need to, like, tick up and everything. Like, they, they have to have Planeswalker removal over here, right? Like, that's that's probably what they have. They probably have removal. I have so much card advantage. It's just might as well just tuck the skeleton. Not so fast. No, it's not. I know. It's just a 1-1, one, one, but we just don't need extra cards. <laughs> we already got extra cards. We will meet again. We need to make sure we don't die and just taking, like, the one damage each turn can certainly make us die. Mm. Looking for land drop. So we can have more mana so we can cast more stuff. Capnet will do though. All right, they're about to draw this skeleton. Is there an explosion for five?
All right, we'll go time waster. Bounce the skeleton. I'm known for my excellent timing. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Don't worry, we'll get that Kefnet back. And we got it back. Here goes nothing. This is going to be a long league. <laughs> this is going to be a long league. Uh... Sure, I guess. Well, let me just see what we get here. All right, fine. Let's have the Kefnet again next turn. Solar Blaze hasn't been too good for us yet. Kefnet's pretty great. Just never dies. Speaking of things that never die. bottom. Yeah, Kefnet surviving the Solar Blaze is definitely nice. Okay, I'll get rid of one of these skeletons for good. Uh, take us a while to win this game, but we can't really lose. Take up to fairy. Take up to fairy. We need to move quickly. Destroy all artifacts or enchantments. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and just crack this memorial. I think that's the plan. You know what? I'm not done yet. And even though it'll take, again, it'll take some time to win. I've got it. We got this.
I don't really need to sit here and activate as Kanta and then untap it. We have seven cards in hand. No, we don't have any spark doubles. All right, four turn clock. Explosion. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Explosion for ten. That doesn't quite kill them. We'll just do that next turn. I guess that would have killed them. If I would have just I'll protect you. Uh plus to fairy first. Could have done the ten. And then uh lightning strike for three. It's all good. Oh that's true. If I was just yeah, Teferi Teferi would have just made it twelve anyway. Uh, with the untap. Very true. All right, so they have Gideon, Liliana, bunch of weird creatures. Definitely need to be worried about Liliana. Liliana's probably like Gideon, Liliana are probably the only things that actually kill us, right? That's what like War Leader. I guess this is good against War Leader. So maybe I just play Immortal Sun here to stop um, Liliana. All right, Storm, have a wonderful night. I don't like seeing a paid on the draw very much. I think Big Teferi is better than their Liliana since we don't have that many creatures, but still, them making a 2 2 every turn and like their creatures die and they draw cards, that's. Difficult to deal with. But I I think I like Rekindling Phoenix here. I can see like so yeah, I think I like this just Rekindling Phoenix Immortal Sun combo. But yeah, we'll we'll see. We can of course adjust for game three if we need to. I don't think any of these creatures here need to visit the prison realm. Yeah, I'd rather have that absorb available. Phoenix. So 
But we're certainly winning this race. We're attacking for four, they're attacking for two. All right, good job, Phoenix. 2-0. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, and reset here. It's getting you know a little bit laggy. It's been on for about five and a half hours now. There's 26 lands in this deck, Frodo. Yeah, one of it being a Memorial to Genius. For that utility. Utilite. Alright, we've played against two pretty janky decks so far. So we haven't had it really too many close games here. Let's see what we got up next. A little, real good hand for us. I don't really know what I'm going to Dovin's Veto this turn. The answer is nothing. Mm. Yeah. Say, so, like, we play to Teferi, then they play to Teferi, then I want to get rid of their Teferi. I am not going to sit this one out. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I'm not a big fan of that prison realm, and that is exactly what happened. Let's slow this down. Ah, so Let's this is the Esper this. Walkers list. That mobilized district is just awesome, though. This might be a bad idea. Wasn't expecting Mobilized District. That was like a perfect turn for them. Mobilized District in. And Teferi. Hey, Chief Seth. Shuffling me off my mortal coil. No, I am not making this up as I go. That's kind of the problem with counter spells right now. Lots of little teferis around. Only time will tell. You can't you can't cast them. I guess I didn't need to slam my little teferi to protect against their little teferi. Here we go. I suppose. I just I wasn't expecting this like whole mobilized district thing, honestly. I wasn't expecting that. I've got time. Yeah, we'll we'll have more things post board for sure. Especially these immortal sons. And this this game's just already over. Like 
we don't we have zero cards with relevant text in our hand. I'm just gonna go to the next game. All right, creatures. Now the veto's up right away. Uh, maybe we'll keep a couple of those in. Never really liked binding Prison Realm too much in these matchups because. Like against their deck, like with them having Mortifies and Bolt of Fairies, get rid of enchantments. Just easy for them to get their things back. Kind of just go away from those cards. Or like we can burn spell away Planeswalker, so I like those. Yeah, this this looks just fine to me. This is better. Now, especially that I know what we're playing against, and I know that I will not like have my take the Dovin's veto down right away. Won't let them resolve Little Teferi immediately. So one thing about the counterspell plan, it is definitely important to be able to have enough mana for, for counter magic. Man, I want to play Kefnet, which is so bad against Small Teferi. They just don't have Small Teferi for a turn though. Hopefully. You know, so if they do, we just replay Kefnet and then have Kefnet pressure the Teferi. Alright, that's fine. Let me deal with that. Entire treaties on your in the fault is not failure. in our stars, but in ourselves. Of course, we only have one counter spell up because of the hand of control. Curious. Making our spells Your cost more. Don't seem to bother you. We'll use the more expensive one. Alright, and this time we have like a serious reason why not to. Reveal that. Looking to elevate yourself. Uh, perhaps a pair of stilts? Hey, Brito. I need ten mana. Ugh, 10 mana to play that and veto. Hmm. 
My acute awareness of your imperfections is maddening. Defects don't seem to bother you. No, 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 no. And that's game. Immortal Sun. Immortal Sun. Won't you come and wash away the rain, immortal sun? Won't you come? Won't you come? Okay. All right, we are one and one. Going to game three. more balls to attack probably need this land probably do hmm maybe not <clears throat> now I wish I would have ditched it All right, go war boss, go. Get him. Get him. Wish I would have ditched that land right about now, though. Two, four, five. You mean I will defend my allies. This will not deter me. I guess I did have six here. I was I thought I was gonna have five. I, I missed one of these. I thought I was gonna have five, and so that's why I shocked that Karn, but I really didn't need to. I could have just sent the other two over there. Why not play the beacon first? Our the choices we make reveal who we are. Oh, that's annoying. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. I am proud to have bought. What's up, what's up, Prugor? <laughs> Legion war click. All right, got those games. Three no.
Good old Legion War Click. Thanks, Jeff. She says, I, I enjoy your eclectic taste in music. Yeah, the 12 Planeswalker decks. Those are the evil decks now. There are just so many of them. So many Planeswalkers everywhere. Sir Broderick is our opponent here. Oh, this looks like a mulligan to me. Unfortunately. I, I don't like going to five too much. We have all these cheap things. Uh, you know, just finding like one land with the scry. It's easier to keep a one lander whenever you have your scry than like whenever it's the seven card hand and you don't have the scry. Is this a band nexus? Do it. No veto, no veto, no veto. No veto. Alright. I'm known for my excellent timing. I think I wait a turn to see if I can draw a counter spell before I bounce this as Kanta. Sorry I'm late. I'll protect you. Hmm. Man, having Prism Realm and Teferi against the Blast Zone deck Don't worry. doesn't feel very good. This. Stop that. Now. I really should have seen that coming. This song is... Yeah, there you go. Or Sonic will pull it up here. It's only a matter of time. Ugh. Worse. Man, this blast zone. Perfect. That was a card I wanted to find. I do have a plan. So not let that card ever resolve. That's more like it. Hmm. I want to blow up the Ascanta, but then it kills our prison realm.
One, two, three, four, it. five. Oh, this thing's gonna flip. Tilt. I was really hoping they kept something and they didn't flip it. All right, so we're in a tough spot here. So I got a plan. I got a plan to beat this blast zone. And it's all about my opponent activating the blast zone. That's key part number one of the plan. They activate Blast Zone. Then I will destroy all artifacts or enchantments. And get their deputy back. Give them the deputy, and then the deputy dies to the blast zone. They're just not activating blast zone, though. done the hero thing before. Finally. Take my Teferi, to plan. and then that destroys the Deputy, I get my Teferi back. Alright, we got both Wilderness Reclamations out of there. Thank me later. They're probably gonna have Big Teferi tuck this little Teferi. Trust me, I have a plan. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty cool play. Ugh. Stop with these Willis reclamations.
I won't hide from the world any longer. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Here we go. Alright, so we can absorb one thing. And... Uh, strike. That's getting countered. And they can play their own Teferi. And they can tuck one of my two, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, like they'll probably want to tuck like the three mana one, but I got a new three mana one. Let's skip to the good part. Okay, no, so they just want to do that. Come on, one more burn spell. Let's finish off this big Teferi. Keep up the pace. Ugh. What is that land land? We're gonna be untapping two lands anyway. Perfect. I'll do. That's more like it. Can you turn them off? So I can tap out and kill their big Teferi. It's honestly probably worth it. This is hardly my worst defeat. You liked copying strike? I like saving strike. So if like if this Teferi minuses, we can kill it. Yeah, if we bolt copy, keep absorb available. We're just I don't know. Getting rid of getting rid of two cards, especially a really important card. Like that that explosion, you know, if if we do that, we're kinda like left with nothing. That explosion does just completely refill our hand and everything. So I don't get to absorb that. But with that time. minuses and grabs big to fairy. No, plus. I think you will find my notes helpful. I know my responsibility. I've got time. No time for a break. Wait, do you have time or is there no time? You just said Let's you had time. This. Now you're saying there's no time. I don't understand what's going on. All is there time or no time? You just let me know if you're up for round two. Bad to fairy. Bad. Oh no. Why'd I have to keep discarding my uh yeah? Um my cards they have twenty six. Uh 
one, two, three, four, five. Five leaves me with six mana. You know what? I'm not done yet. No, I am not making this up as I go. So I'll have four mana. We should be able to finish them off with explosion this next turn, especially if, you know, if we don't die. That is. I have 16 cards left. They have 23. Wow, what an, what a game. That was a very long, arduous game there. Am I going Immortal Sun against them? Is this an Immortal Sun matchup? Because of Big Teferi Tamio on their side? <laughs> yeah, that was like a two hour game. Sure seemed like it. That Cleansing Nova was so clutch. Yeah, without that Cleansing Nova play, we don't win that at all. I guess they do have Blast Zone to take out Immortal Sun. So probably not. Alright, so what am I taking out? Like, Clarion... I don't know if their plan is like... Yeah, I'm, I'm just taking out Clarion. And Solar Blaze. I'm keeping this in. I mean, they have like Biogenic Oozes, if like that's their plan. Maybe I want to keep in the Solar Blaze. Can I go like this? Can I just take out my enchantment removal? No, I'm going to keep him one binding over a Kefnet. <clears throat> you think this deck needs Narset? This is a little strange. We have no Narsets in the deck. I'll admit that. Yeah, that is that is kind of weird that we don't have any Kefnets, but I guess we're we're trying to transfer into an Immortal Sun deck against the other Planeswalker decks. lands that's the worst possible
Maybe we'll just draw two. Let's look for more lands. <clears throat> okay. We can attack for seven next turn. Branch Waka. Walk in the branches. Gross. <clears throat> I have four mana. I've hit my land drop every turn. You, you know, I just had four mana. Turn four, I pass. They get to play Little Teferi and Merfolk Branchwalker and Nexus of Fate. Gross. Resolve. Nope. The good news is they don't have any... Like, source a card advantage right now, even though they have a whole lot of mana. Like, unless they have, like, a Chemistry's Insight or something like that for the last card. And, like, sure, you have the Blast Zone takes out the War Boss. I, like, wouldn't have been surprised at all if they would have just let that um, Teferi resolve and, and then um, use Blast Zone to clean up the War Boss and the Teferi. Yeah, if you this does not copy Nexus, but if you had something like a Narsa, like if you had something that did, did copy Nexus, then yes, you would be taking the extra turn first. Like, or no, 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 it would be whichever one resolves last takes the extra turn first. <clears throat> so like, let's say like let's say like Nexus is on the stack and you just cast your own Nexus, I guess that kind of thing. Then yours will resolve and you'll take an extra turn, but then theirs will resolve and then they'll take the extra turn, so they'll get the extra turn before you do. So you want to let theirs resolve first and then play your own. I'm supposed to hold back. My Teferi's gonna die. I mean, I'm definitely tough. I'm I'm absolutely tucking this reclamation. But now my Teferi's gonna die to the Branch Walker. But that's okay. If you show remorse, I'll show. are gonna have like nothing. I guess I could have. I guess I could have held back and not attacked with those other creatures. You need to slow down. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Shuffle away that nexus, or the uh, wilderness reclamation. We will meet again. Kefnet, finish us out.
Oh, I guess I could have drawn a war boss here. Let's slow this down. Got an extra a point in. One more turn. Hooray! Yeah, yeah, Legion War Bosses definitely works on the draw. Question is, do you think War Boss is worse on the draw? Yes. Most cards, most every card is worse on the draw. All right, final boss playlist time. Here we go. Ugh, here we go, 4 0. Just got control. Brown, brown. Ooh. Yeah, we can do this. Love having Kefnet. Card's great. <laughs> yeah, nobody, nobody donates for Esper Control. Hmm. Is this Mono Blue? Final boss? Need white mana. White mana. Oh. Yep. Sorry, Siren Storm Tamer. You need to get sent to the prison realm. Been doing some bad stuff over there. Prison realm, you go. Uh, yeah, you can, yeah, if you're on the draw against some decks, yeah, you can sideboard out. Yeah, so if you have Legion War Boss in your main deck and you're going to be on the draw, yeah, it's a it's a good candidate of a card to sideboard out. Kefnet. So no third land for them. Opt just works so well with Kefnet. Being able to... Play it on their turn also. Uh, uh, kills my Kefnet. Is that even a good trade? Oh, yeah, no two white mana. Good call. Let's just send this Tempest Gin to the Prison Realm. We'll get other blue mana eventually. We don't need it right now. So it only costs two, so that means we can go for three. We'll explosion for three, this Terramander. Well, so much for us finding more white mana somewhere. That's annoying. I can't lie, that's pretty annoying. Uh, 
Alright, so they need two counter spells. This isn't a fight you can win. This might be a bad idea. Let's try to get a land drop. Jeez. Guess I regret not keeping that land a long time ago. But then we wouldn't have had the explosion when we did, though. This Teferi's broken. I feel bad for my mono blue opponent here. This Teferi's broken. So if we didn't draw the white source, I was probably just going to be playing... I was going to, like, minus this Teferi to try to bounce, and they would counter it with the Storm Tamer, then I'd play the other Teferi to tuck. That's what my plan would have been if we, you know, just drew, like, whatever, like a counter spell or whatever. Imagine a card so broken you feel bad for Mono Blue. I know, right? That's that's his card though. So against Mono Blue, let's get more creatures. More Clarion, more Time Raveler, less Big Teferi. Um, less Ixalan's Binding. I think we can still go... Wait, do we do we want Nova Solar Blaze? Yeah, probably. Can you take out Chemister's Insight? I want those vetoes. I don't want syncopate. Um, you take out absorbs. I can see that. I do like veto more than absorb. If we can get to the late game, which usually happens, though, absorb, like, you know, countering one of their counters is pretty nice. But I don't want all of them, that's true. Let me go down to one absorb. Let's see taking out this as Kanta. Could see No, I'm gonna I wanna take out a chemistry's insight. I don't really want I don't really want two insights. Alright. Alright, Kurtash. Have a good night. Why don't we play five mana Ral? It's probably not better than anything that we're playing. We don't want to have a lot of Planeswalkers in this list because we are trying to go for the Immortal Sun sideboard plan against the other Planeswalker decks. I'm just going to kill that this time with them on six cards. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe with me having another removal spell, I just shock and uh, do nothing else. But if they don't, they don't have creatures. They can't cure obsession anything. Bleh. That one's too big. Or toughness. They just have one card in hand. It's fine. So I was. Even if that like would get countered or anything, then we would just have like the cleansing nova the next turn. Fairy. What if they just took out all their counter spells? So Lil Teferi wouldn't wouldn't defeat them. I've got it. I got this. Do you think that's possible? <laughs> yeah, remember when Mono Blue ran counter spells? <laughs> All right. Let's get that victory fanfare in. Yeah, we've had a successful night tonight. <laughs> we didn't do any damage either game. <laughs> That's some good clean magic. Don't have to do any damage. Just know the game's over. But yeah, this this Just Guy Control list played really well. It played really well. So glad, Stony. Thanks for this donation deck. Yeah, we just lost that game one against the Planeswalker deck. Yeah, when we had all we had all those cards that didn't matter when we had all of our deafening Clarions and counter spells, but they had a Time Raveler in play. That was our only game we lost. Yeah, it played really well. I liked it. Um, I think, yeah, even though we don't have Narsets, but I don't really mind not having Narsets. I like our sideboard. I like War Boss. I like Phoenix. I like the Immortal Sun. I think that's a, a nice plan of like Immortal Sun, Phoenix, War Boss against like those other control decks. I think that is a pretty sweet plan. I really like that. I love Dawnbringer against Aggro. Deafening Clarion is just awesome these days. Uh, you got to get this extra, t this extra other Teferi. I I really like the sideboard. I think that sideboard's really good. Uh, as far as main deck goes, it all played pretty well. I don't love this binding. Yeah, I don't really love the binding. I wouldn't mind like a, wouldn't mind like some lava coils. Maybe like lava coil instead of binding. I don't know. I don't know. We got deafening clarion too. Maybe binding is good. Honestly. Prison Realm was, like, surprisingly good. It, it worked out, like, this card played pretty well for us, and, like, the Scry was nice. Definitely, like, you know, Cleansing Nova is awesome. Solar Blaze, not so bad. Not so bad. It has some good synergy with, like, it has good synergy with Kefnet. Uh, it has good synergy with Teferi, being able to play at instant speed. It's got good synergy with Expansion. Yeah, like, there wasn't any card that was, like, really bad and i love the sideboard even like syncopate's a card i don't like that much but it was critical syncopating a teferi one one game on turn three you know like on the draw we had two mana we had syncopate like that was that was critical in winning that game uh, against like the esper deck i believe that was so i can't like i can't rag on syncopate because it, it like won us a game basically 
but yeah, so that was pretty cool. That's Jeskai Control. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, please hit that like button and please hit the subscribe button as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you for another video.